Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto, or welcome to the channel if you're new. Uh, we're going to do a full update on Gifto or GFT, which has rallied massively over the last, uh, well, what is it, for last last couple of hours, actually. It actually ha did not happen that long ago. In my time zone, it was around uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, so I al almost was awake already. Uh, I could have caught this, but uh, <laughs> but no, we'll do a full update. We'll talk about what's going on. We'll talk about what's going to happen from here, or at least what's most likely to happen. In general, in this video, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to tell you everything you need to know, all right? That's my goal. That's what I'll do my best for. Um, I'll leave it up to you whether whether that's true or not, all right? But that's at least what we'll do. So uh, before we dive into Gifto, before we talk about what's going on here, I do want to mention briefly that I have my own premium training group uh, in which I share my own trades as signals, but you also gain access to a chat room and a trading guide. And especially the chat room is very valuable. There's a lot to learn for, for new traders, but also if you're experienced, there's a lot to learn. I'm, uh, I, I've been trading myself for five years as well, so might be something for you. Consider joining it. Links will be down in the description. But for now, let's get into uh, for, for now let's get into Gifto. There's a, there's a car alarm going off. Hopefully you don't hear that. Uh, Gifto itself, right now, in terms of what's going on, it is most likely uh, most likely manipulation. Like if you see a spike like this where a lot of volume gets pumped in in a very short period of time, it's usually manipulation. You cannot actually see it from the from where the volume is coming from. But in general, I mean, if you if you take a look at some other statistics, then you can see like this is manipulation, <laughs> all right? Uh, the open interest right here goes up massively. So that means that in a very short period of time, like in a matter of 10 minutes, a huge amount of positions are being opened. That, that is not normal market behavior. So it is manipulated. Now that does not mean that much uh, because that it could still be bullish, could still be bearish. Technically, it's not looking that great. And I'll tell you why. And that is because Gifto has actually spiked up a lot. And you might not be able to tell because of this green candle next to it, but it actually broke down below this entire level uh, between 1.2 and 1.35 cents, which is practically at least 1.3 and 1.2 is really the most important level for GFT. So by breaking down below that and by not getting some sort of a bullish breakout, uh, that actually takes away the potential of, of continuing this rally, which is what we want to see, right? We want to see GFT go up even higher. Um, and that is possible from here, like especially if you take a look at the funding fees, the funding fees for, for GFT are still ridiculously high at, uh, at minus 1.5. So a lot of people will uh, pr presumably still buy GFT, which is bullish, all right? So, so, so the fundamentals, I would still say, are bullish, but the technicals, they still need to prove something. Because what we need to see, and that's going to, going to depend on the next candles and, and the next couple of hours, is we need to see this level break, all right? So that's between 1.3 cents, which has the 0.618 FIB of this move down, and, uh, and, and 1.35 cents, which is, oh, excuse me, which is historically a very major uh, resistance level. If it's able to break above that, I'm not sure if the one hour time frame is enough. I would say the four hour time frame. If it's able to break above that, then this rally can continue. Then we'll see a move like this. We'll find some resistance at 1.45, 1.5 cents, bullish break retest, and a continuation up to 1.65 cents. That is a possibility. But like I said, we do need to see a, a bullish break out. So it needs to close above 1.3 and 1.35 cents. If it's not able to do that today, it's over. All right, then this was the, the spike and the GFT will slowly drop down towards uh, towards 1.05 cents and later probably down towards uh, sub one cent levels. So we'll see for now. Uh, I think that's everything you need to know regarding GFT, what's going on and what's possible. If you still do have any questions, of course, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.